No, yeah, for sure. I mean, but like, this is not a concealed carry Thank weapon. Yeah. But it holds like 15 plus one, right? Yep. 15 round magazine. Right. There's a chunk of bullets right here. Yeah. FNX tactical. <laughs> Keep it in mind. And they didn't use to the offer them with a red dot, did they? So, uh, no, uh, the FNX, um, it came from the Joint Combat Pistol Program in 2008, and part of the requirement was to actually fit it with a red dot optic or RMR, and Evan was actually the first one to have a commercially red dot cut optic uh, slide uh, for another red dot optic. So we've been doing that since 2012. We were the first ones to do it. Really? It just kind of like stuck on the ground, so it kind of acts as like a pivot point. Personally, of the two, this would be the one that I would pick up. It's very thin. I typically carry a, a 365. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Good trigger. It's a little bit long, but it's a good feeling trigger. So. I actually really like the resets. Like a little splashy, but the uh, the trigger itself is really nice. That's what I heard. You take a number, and then when they call your number, right up against the wall, it breaks. It's when you're not worried about it. That's when it definitely gets you. It's very nice. Thanks, sir. I've been, I've been, I've been trying. They haven't like they haven't been anywhere. So that's why I was like trying to like uh, see if. Uh, you know what it looked like and everything and it's like it's not it's not that heavy at all uh benelli's is like oh my god it's got some weight to it yep i mean but uh i think i mean you want you want a semi tactical uh, semi-auto tactical shotgun i mean we took a lot of the features that jerry nicola came up with for the jm pro yeah and it here a few changes here and there and then burst this guy about two like, I think it's fucking fantastic. Yeah. 590S. This one is interesting that I, I would take a look at. It was like 500 bucks. This one's pretty cool where it's a uh, mag. That thing's dope. Very, very cool. Oh, I want to see this one over here. These are like 48 ounces. This I like to be able to grip a little bit better. This one over here, I, I don't know why I was able to grip it a little bit better than, than Well, this you one. know why? What? Just that this style of coating is slippery as hell. It's, it's like a... Oh. Yeah, it's like... It's, oh, no, no, she, 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 she's, she's learning about everything. So she's You're reading? You're reading? No, 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 go ahead because I'm No, 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 no. She, yeah, she likes to hear everything. Do you mind to be my video? In my video? No, 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 I, no. I, I, have a, I have a face for radio, not for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, okay, so you so, talk. Tell me the difference. No, no, no. Okay, so this is a Nistel coating, which is like a, a nickel finish. Yeah. And it, it is slippery. It's, it has lubricity. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, and you also notice that this has a frame-mounted safety. Yeah. Okay? So that's... Which that's, I typically like. You, that's, you're used to it from a yeah. 1911. So with this gun... With this gun, we have a you know it's, it's got the more it's, typical yeah. and, and you have the safety and you can grab the ears. Okay. That gives you that gives you some you know something to purchase. Right. To grab onto. A lot of people use those for that reason. And you get the front ones too. Was, this, was that a decocker just there? Yeah. Decocker, decocker and safety both. Man, I'm. I've been looking for another like steel frame something. This, this is aluminum frame. Well, no, aluminum frame. Yeah, it's, it's, metal. You metal, 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 metal frame. Yeah, metal frame. Yeah. Well, I can't stand all the new polymer and everything. Yeah. And I, I, I am a 1911 guy. I like 1911s. And that's why I was looking at this one. This is, this is just, this is heavy. 
I, I will say that this is heavy. However, I mean, it's nice. Very, very nice. Oh, it's a beautiful gun. I, I, oh. I lust after having I'd love to have one. I have one of these. Like yeah. yeah. I don't know. But quite honestly, one of the, like, this is something more like I'd actually like to pick up. This is five, five ounces lighter. Because this is called a defensive. We made this for uh, IDPA. Because this is too heavy. Well, this for is that. nice. We this tried is to, nice. We tried to get this. Yeah, this doesn't weigh much more. A government model, full size, like 39 ounces. And this one's 42. Wow. That is that's very And we nice. have the cuts the cuts for the RDO. Yeah. I, I've never been a big fan of, of optics on uh, on you handguns. You don't have to use it. Yeah, no, for sure. And I like I like the uh, the thumb safety like this much more so than the well oh man. And you can use it and you can use it either way. You can use it double action, single action, or you can use it double single action only. Yeah. You can actually see it has a, yeah. has a double action. And it's actually got a really nice double action. To be honest, that's nicer than my 226. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Uh, so wait, so what was the difference between this one and the other model? This one was more this, target? This, this is Well, it's unlimited. It's, it's, we made this as heavy as we could. Right, so we just put, suck up all this, that recoil. Yeah, we wanted to make it really heavy. And so so this one has a lightning cuts inside here. Yeah. And also, um, also we took this off. Yeah, I noticed it doesn't have so, the rail. So it's five ounces. This is excessively heavy. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. It, it, you can definitely notice the heft. It's much, much more. Yeah. Take, take five. Well, you know, honestly, when you're when you're when you're holding it together, this, this is noticeably lighter. Yeah. But I mean, it's not bad though. It's, it's not bad at all. And that's like, that's I mean, a cut's called a gas pedal. That right there. Yeah. So when you put your you put your thumb. Like so. Oh, to just make it like uh, to hold it to hold it down from the recoil. I got push you. Down. It's a little, it's a little way of cheating because you're not supposed to be able to do that. But this is a takedown lever. Right. It just so happens to be there, and so you can put your thumb on it. Well, you know, now that you get a little bit more used to it, and you wouldn't have any trouble with it. No, not at all. No. But, that's oh, nothing. Never allow him. No, <laughs> that's small compared to the weights he picks up. Right. <laughs> Now we can. You see how it's rotating like that? That's crazy. Well, let me see. Nice decocker. It's got great size, fiber optic size. Yeah, and I mean, that trigger is great. Trigger, trigger's good. Trigger Reset double, is great. And double action's good too. Yeah, I, I was going to say. It's, it's not a, bad. It's got a very. Well, see, but like double action is supposed to be. Like, yeah, it's supposed to be heavier. It's supposed to, yeah. It's got the, it's got a, what they call the uh, A1 uh, frame with a, with a light rail, which adds a little bit of weight. We chamfered it here. We cut back a couple of things here. We did a few, we have big, wide, smooth trigger. I just, I just, for some reason, this one, you know, with that decocker on there, very nice double action trigger, even nicer single action trigger. To be honest, out of this whole lineup, this Elite LTT series, I feel like would be the This is the Garrus. Wow. Very, very smooth. Fit an opera headspace. Incredible trigger. I think the M1A has stood the test of time. And because it's great safety. And part of that is because of the way it's built. These rifles were made to battle tyranny. Super slick recheck. Wow. Crisp trigger. 
it takes a lot of work. To build Super them, sweet right? reset. I find it hard to believe that there's still companies in the United States that can put that make much a really, really nice product. 1911. So the value for the money is outstanding. The one thing that was missing from our Victor line was one in 308. This is my baby right here. Stone originally designed the AR platform rifle at 308. When they transitioned to the 556 round, they gave it power. The 308 round is the superior cartridge in almost every way. In reality, if you're not in the military going on 30, 40 mile treks, humping an 80 pound rucksack, there's no reason you wouldn't want a 308. The same Victor in 308 brings together the power of the 308 and the lightweight mobility of an AR platform rifle. The St. Victor in 308 comes with a 16-inch lightweight profile barrel. It's melanite coated inside and out. The muzzle brake is proprietary built in-house. It's got a really small, it's lightweight, it's maneuverable, it's powerful. It's the perfect rifle when things go bad. Wow. That's a really smooth action. Crazy trigger. What is this? Red dot included. This thing is fantastic. 
actually about 50 50 right now really? on this particular one yeah oh, that's, that's, so, that's so interesting because like i know that like uh some people are like just just dead set on moa and then a lot of people are like no why would you do moa when you know it's uh, a lot of the world's using mills it's just a unit of measure so uh, it's personal preference so what's the difference between these just came out with One's a two and a half to twenty, and one's a four to thirty-two power. Wow, which one's a four to thirty-two? This is not here, and then this is a two and a half to twenty. Wow. This That's is a our, lot of magnification. This is our eight family, the NX8, is our latest, the, our latest uh, family of scopes, the NX8s. These what's, are what's different about the materials. <laughs> and what this, uh, what this is, is the darker color. Okay. Uh, we've just come out with this this past month. And that's, uh, are they uh, first focal plane or second focal plane? These are first focal plane. Okay. What are those going for? Like? Are y'all just going straight first focal plane nowadays? No, or? no, we have second focal plane and, and these as well, too, in the black. But right now, the darker, we just have first focal plane. But do you think that y'all are... Do you think you, I guess I'm trying to like future proof my purchase. Uh -huh. you know, right. Do you, uh, currently, I use a, a LePold... Um, Second focal point. Second, yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't. I haven't had much experience on first focal point. I feel like it's like a newer. Uh, sort of thing. It, it is. It is. And and I'm a second focal point guy too. Yeah. But, you know the difference is that first focal, your sub tensions are true and correct at any power that you have. Right. Second focal plane is only at one. It's generally on high power. Um, and so you you know for holdovers and all that you've got to have it full full power. What do, what do, do y'all notice more system. with sales, like uh, what, what people are mostly buying, kind of 50-50 also? Recently. I mean, we only know it from the dealer perspective of what we sell to the dealers, right. but, you know, I don't know. If each dealer each deal, dealer is different. One may sell all MOA, all second local planes, and it's probably just a lot of times what their customer base is like. So. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you notice, like, some of the military things? I have to. Yeah, I, I'm a commercial salesman. Yeah, this, in this uh, scope, you can use that reticle to uh, shoot out the distances, you know, five to eight hundred yards, and uh, uh, can be easily achieved. If the five five six will take you there. Yeah, if, if it'll take you there. Whatever it can, yeah. it can get you to whatever no, the for capacity sure. of that. For sure. And some people have three oh eights. No, no, I, I, I've got out to, to, to seven hundred. You have to, yeah. you have to. Yeah. You have to compensate a lot. Yeah, you have to compensate. But, you can, you can but it's, it it's achievable with an eight power. And we've done it with our eight tech R1. Typical eight. night vision image, you know, and then this is going to overlay a thermal outline over that. So you're getting the best of both worlds. So it'd be like a monocular that just has like thermal going on. So and then you, you'll you get see both. Like, right. So you're going to, you know, with, with dual tube night vision, you're going to still just get that one perfect 40 degree circle. Yeah. And within that 40 degree circle, you're going to get thermal outline of whatever it is you're looking at. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's probably like years away to where they actually like blend it into a single Nope, unit. they're doing it now. Are they? Yeah. Wow. So like guys like SEALs and Delta Yeah, Yeah, Corp, they get all the cool shit. They're, they're getting all those kind of things. Yeah. With this technology. Built Already in. built in. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right. Sorry? Y'all are doing the ad Okay. And it works, but uh, when it goes to the developing, you know, the, the, the MVP, you know, the goggles, now you can get some goggles or somebody, you can get some somebody in the room. Yeah. One, one, one is better for identification than the other way past 17. Right. You think that maybe one day they're going to make it? You know what? I do have a little bit of three years. I, I have properties and I like them. Like that's where I'm going to light enough that between the ear pearls. Are y'all manufacturing in America? Oh, Elfie, yeah. Elfie is a US buyer. Okay. So, so there's two. But just, are y'all a retailer or are y'all manufacturing? With over 35 years of research done. Very smooth action. 
to uh, change the caliber, all you have to do is just loosen these screws, yeah. pull the barrel out. This splits in half this button here, the splits in half and pull the bolt and out. And this is also a folding, uh, folding uh, yeah. uh, stock. Yep. Very cool. You can feel it when you touch it with yeah. the quality. Like the, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a noticeable difference. Like it's What's the weight on this? Um, weight wise, it's uh, what's that fog? 30, 32 pounds, 34. And M, these are MSRP for like old gold. Eight, eight, you'll, you'll find it's it for heavy, about right? eight, eight, to, eight to nine thousand. I cannot leave this. Oh, could be impossible for me. <laughs> Good to see you again. I wanted to come take a look. I was kind of on the window.